Do you feel stuck or stagnant in your spiritual practice? Or you feel like you've been on the spiritual awakening path for like forever or even just a short while, but you feel like it's not working for you? If so, then stay tuned to watch the rest of this video where I'm going to share with you why spirituality isn't working for you. Hello, 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 mosaic souls. Hey, mosaic souls, this is Rachel Alexander, artist and Mosaic Soul Mentor, aka Spiritual Teacher with Flair at indigoray.com, also the founder of DivineEarthSchool.com. And in today's video, I want to share two roadblocks that may be making your spiritual awakening difficult. So if you feel like you've been struggling on the spiritual awakening path, maybe you feel like there's a lot of pains that you're going through or you're not manifesting what you want or you're manifesting what you want but you still feel unfulfilled, then this video is for you. So the first reason that you might be feeling stuck or you feel like spirituality isn't working for you is you are either focused on manifesting without actually doing the real spiritual work, what I call quote unquote work, right? It's not really work, but it's just you're not really putting in the effort to really get to know who you truly are. So what this sort of looks like is that you're constantly looking outside of yourself to the next spiritual tool or process or trick to try um, rather than really diving deep into self-realizing who you truly are. Self-realizing your true divine self or your God self or your soul self, right? So a lot of times when spirituality isn't working for you, Many times people are sort of on like the manifestation bandwagon, like I like to call it, the manifestation bandwagon. You're all about manifesting things. You're doing the tips and the processes. You're doing your visualization. You're doing your affirmations. You're doing all these other things and you're looking for the next tip, trick or all this stuff to manifest what you want, right? Um, and so when you are doing that, what ha tends to happen is that you're constantly looking outside of yourself and you're not reaffirming and you're not remembering and rediscovering who and what you truly are. And so when you don't know who you truly are and you're constantly looking outside of yourself, you're never going to be fulfilled in what you even manifest and you're never going to feel, um, or and sometimes it can also hinder your manifestation process and, or, or abilities because, and when I say manifest, I mean manifesting more of what you desire. We're always manifesting. If you're human, incarnate on planet, you're always manifesting. But I mean manifesting more of what you desire, right? So for that clarification really quickly. But when you're constantly like on the manifestation bandwagon and you're not doing the inner work or um, you're not discovering who you truly are, it can create stagnation, right? And the second reason is like you're doing the spiritual work or you self-realized yourself, you're meditating, you you felt your divinity, you felt the qualities of your soul, love and joy and all that stuff, peace, bliss, and stuff like that. You and you really know who you truly are at soul level. You know that you are a soul having this human experience. And it's not just sort of like a, oh, sometimes I'm a soul having a human experience. No, like you know it. It's a knowing. It's become a known, knowing in yourself. But what tends to happen in this phase sometimes is that um, you're doing the spiritual work, but you're not learning how this universe works in order to help you to create the outcomes that you desire. So what happens is that you end up self-realizing, but you're not self-actualizing, right? And so this kind of shows up where people are being super like passive in a sense where they're being super meditative and they're allowing things to come to them and they're, uh, well, if it, if, if I'm supposed to manifest things and it's just going to fall into my lap. And although that does happen many times in my life and many times in many of other people's lives that I've coached and other friends and family members who are tuned into their God self, a lot of times it won't happen because you don't even know how the universe works. Maybe you've studied with a spiritual teacher who was all about getting rid of your 
desires and not focusing on your de desires and just being one with source or being one with consciousness or being one with the present moment, right? And so you start to feel stuck and stagnant because you're not getting anywhere in your life and you feel like, is this all there is? I'm like, I'm waiting for the spirituality thing to pan out. Like, shouldn't I be doing like something or some, shouldn't something change in my life? Why am I still struggling, right? And so that is sort of how that shows up, right? So it's one of two things, right? It's either strategy all about manifestation or you know the divine laws and principles of the universe and but and no mindset or inner work right which is all what i call the manifestation bandwagon um so no awakening or awareness of higher consciousness of who you truly are but all all only about how the universe works you don't know who you truly are into that or you know who you truly are but you don't know how the universe works right so you don't know divine laws you don't know principles and stuff like that um so it's um basically all consciousness higher consciousness and higher awakening and being present and stuff like that and no um, mindset and no, I mean, sorry, no strategy to manifest one's desire. And when I talk about strategy, I'm not talking about, oh, you're going to have an 80, you know, list plan to thing or like 20 different new processes that you have to do. It really is not like that at all. But it's like when you know, when you come into an understanding of how the universe works, you start to allow more of your desires with more ease. But if you don't know how the universe works and you don't know how you fit into that picture and how to tap into your innate, innate divine powers and divine law and work in court in accordance with divine laws and principles, then you won't be manifesting and you'll feel stuck and stagnant and you'll feel like, why isn't the spiritual thing working? You see what I'm saying? So it's one of those two reasons, right? And so I want to just do a quick recap is the first reason that you might be feel, feeling stuck or stagnant in your spiritual awakening or you feeling or roadblock, feeling like you're at a roadblock in your spiritual awakening or your or spirituality isn't working for you is that you're either focused on outward things or manifesting without really doing the spiritual work, if you will. You're not developing any spiritual practices other than sort of manifestation practices. Um, you're not doing that inner work to really uncover old belief systems or, or, or old things that are holding you back. Um, you're not doing the inner work to really discover your true self and reintegrate all aspects of you such that you can um, feel whole and feel fulfilled in all that you do. Or you are doing the spiritual work. You're feeling more whole. You're, you've healed your inner child, your wounded inner child. You've um, come learned how to live more in the present moment you've learned how to recognize your thoughts and recognize your emotions and whether or not you're moving from ego or your soul yet you haven't really just studied divine law you haven't really understood how the universe works and how you can utilize these tools um, and divine law and live in accordance with divine laws and principles to allow more of what you desire. So those are the two reasons why. So I would love to hear from you in the comments below, which of those reasons or which of those tracks do you find yourself on if you are um, feeling stuck or stagnant in the comments below? Let me know which of those that you are resonating with the most. And as always, flow with what feels good and let go of what doesn't because you are divine. You are a divine being and your soul knows exactly what you came to explore and experience while on the playground of earth. Remember, what you conceive is what you'll receive. What you expect is what you'll get. And however you feel is what'll become real for you. So vibrate higher and I will chat with you guys later. Peace, love, and light. Want to build a solid spiritual practice that actually works? Then check out the essentials of building a solid spiritual practice, modern spirituality that actually works, and the link in the description below.